In this video, we're gonna try out a new magic eraser sponge that was sent to me by a company called WAF International and test it against the normal magic erasers that I normally use. Now let's get straight into it. What's going on? So glad you're here and welcome back to the Wilson Auto Detailing community. If you're a professional auto detailer who wants to become more successful and profitable in your business or just a car enthusiast who wants to improve your detailing ability, then definitely consider hitting that big red subscribe button right below this video. So as many of you know on the Wilson Auto Detailing YouTube channel, I have different companies reach out to me every now and again and offer to send me certain products, certain tools, things that they're using in the detailing world because they like it to get some, you know, kind of fame, some spotlight to get their products out there. And if they're good products, then I like to show them. And I always tell the companies that I'm going to be very, very real with my review. I'm not trying to sell something that doesn't work because I don't want to break people's trust. So in this video, I'm doing a red Mustang. This is one of my not a regular client actually, but one of my clients that I did about a year ago, do about once a year. And so I'm gonna show you guys these new magic eraser sponges by WAF International. We're actually gonna test them on the part of the car that I always use magic erasers on, on this little scuffed up bridge between the chair and the door. This plastic paneling gets a really, really scuffed throughout the years and months of you getting in and out of the car. So you can see here, this is actually where the driver drags his feet into the car and ends up driving but again the heel and kind of the toe and the bottom sole of the shoe always gets dragged across here and so it ends up making all these scuff marks and years ago when magic racers did not exist you had to use a very very harsh chemical that actually removed a certain layer of the plastic it was rough but now we get to use magic eraser sponges and I'm going to compare the ones I normally use to these to see just how well they work and I'm also going to do it on this bottom paneling of the door here because the feet also get scuffed and dragged across this bottom paneling. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm just gonna pan really quickly across the entire panel so you guys can kind of see. There's not a lot of scuffing in the beginning, but it starts to get pretty severe right here towards the end, right there. And then right here on the bottom panel, we see some pretty serious scuff marks, especially on black, it shows up really nicely. So what I'm gonna do here is take my Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. Actually, it's not Mr. Clean. It is just a regular Magic Eraser. And I'm gonna wet it with water. And then I'm gonna take my Meguiar's All-Purpose Cleaner, diluted 10 to one. I'm I'm gonna spray it on my magic eraser just like that and then very simply I'm just going to scrub right here I'm not gonna scrub super like uh, aggressively I'm just going to be pretty simple I'm gonna be careful around the speaker I don't want to drench any of that in water or cleaner and I'm just going to scrub like this so you guys can see it doesn't take a lot of effort and it certainly doesn't drain me and then I'm gonna wipe it up just like this and Bam, okay, so you guys can see here. Let me take you in for a little bit closer look. Does it look improved? Yes. Does it look perfect? Absolutely not. Are there still obvious scuff marks? Yes. Now, a couple things I want to say about that. Number one, <clears throat> you can't judge the quality of this magic eraser only based on this one situation, this one car, and these, these couple scuff marks because number one, black scuff marks are specifically difficult to remove because there's such a contrast between the black background and kind of the whiter color. And then number two, there's a difference between a scuff mark and then a damaged panel. So at a certain level, this panel is actually just damaged and there's this, these parts that have been kind of kicked with the, with the sole of a shoe, it's not just a scuff mark at this point, it's actually some of the plastic that has been removed and some of the plastic that has almost been frayed up as the feet get dragged and dragged and dragged. And so there's a certain level that a magic eraser is not gonna do no matter how much you try. So am I very impressed? Yes. Am I, am I kind of shocked? No, I expected it to work this way. I expected it to be this good. So just check this out. Yes, they're still scuffing, but yes, it is better in that the dirt is removed and any sort of kind of almost uh, transfer more or less is removed. So now let's go test it out right here. So for this bottom panel, I always like to use my degreaser. So this is super clean, diluted uh, five to one, and I'm just gonna spray it just right there. And then I'm gonna do the same exact thing with my magic eraser. I'm just going to scrub like this. Okay, so for the sake of this video, I'll just stop there and go ahead and mop it up like so. And let's check it out, see if I can get it really dry so we can really tell because a lot of times when things are wet, it's a lot uh, more difficult to tell just how clean they are. So check it out. 
dang, looks really good. Now once again, as it's drying, you can see, if you get real close and personal, things like right here, this scratch right there, that is not something that is fixable as far as cleaning or detailing goes because you can't remove this. It's something that's an imperfection in the plastic. It's a damaged piece, so it's not going to be removed by a magic eraser. However, does it look much better because the dirt, grease, grime from the sole of the shoe is removed? Yes, and some of the transfer, some of the scuffing that actually happens is gone absolutely but what we have to understand once again is that honestly at the end of the day a magic eraser is a magic eraser and whether or not it's these new ones or it's these ones that I normally use a magic eraser is nothing more than just melamine foam and so can you get magic erasers that are more or less better than the others I don't know that that's necessarily true are there some that fall apart quicker absolutely but as far as the degree of cleaning that this one can do and that this one can do it's very very similar if not 100% the exact same so really the only thing that I want to know with these are do they fall apart quicker than these do do these last longer as we keep going I'm definitely gonna look at that. So did this magic eraser do a great job? Yes. Did it meet my expectations exactly? Yes. Did it exceed my expectations? No. Is that a bad thing? Not at all because again this kind of foam whether it's cut in a wide piece or a thin piece it's really the same. I mean, it's not going to do anything differently. It's gonna do the job. It doesn't really have the capacity to like exceed your expectations or exceed the job it's supposed to do. Now, one thing that I am noticing with these thinner sponges is they do seem to be fraying a little bit more than these that I normally buy. So if you ask me, it seems to be that the ones that I normally buy, the STK pack of 20 that I suggest in all my other videos, seem to be more durable. They seem to be stronger than these new ones from WAF International. They seem to be fraying a little bit more. They seem to be falling apart a little bit more. Now I don't remember the price difference between these two. So maybe these from WAF International are a lot cheaper. I don't know, and maybe that's why, because you're getting what you're paying for at the end of the day. But once again, did it do the job? Yes. Am I super impressed? Not super impressed. Do I think I'm gonna stick with my regular sponges from STK? I think so. But if nothing else, for those of you in the car enthusiast or pro detailing world, definitely get your hands on some Magic Eraser sponges. I will hook up the STK pack of 20 that I normally get and the WAF International Magic sponges that are newer. I'll hook up links uh, in Amazon to both of those products in the description box below as well as the Super Clean and the Meguiar's All Purpose Cleaner that I normally use. If you want to buy any of these products, definitely use my links in the description box below that'll take you to Amazon because when you use my links it does give me a very small commission but it helps this channel stay alive so I can continue to give out awesome content just like this and of course if you are new to the Wilson Auto Detailing community then welcome and consider subscribing because I come out with videos all the time just like this on products tools strategies communication skills business skills and so much more all in an effort to help the pro detailers become more successful and profitable in their businesses and on this channel I share the exact strategies that took my business into a full-time income with only part-time hours so if you're interested in that definitely consider subscribing once again, thank you guys so much, and as always from Luke, here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard, and I'll see you guys in the next video.